My name is David Shrigley and I am 38 years old and I live in Glasgow and I'm an artist and I am currently showing at the DCA in Dundee. Um, I've been a professional artist for, uh, I don't know, 15, 16 years and uh, I studied at Glasgow School of Art, Fine Art and I graduated in um, 1991 and um, I've made a living as a professional artist since 1996 maybe and um, this is the first show that I've done in Scotland for uh, quite a while um, I make a living from selling my work and I show my work in lots of different parts of the world and um, uh, my work is held in lots of different collections in museums and um, I do drawings for magazines from time to time and uh, I've made um, pop videos and designed t-shirts and lots of stuff like that. This, the work in this exhibition is um, mostly work from the last uh, two probably last two or three years, um, so it's pretty recent work, relatively speaking, and um, some of it is new. Uh, the poster project that I made um, in the small gallery is a new piece, and um, the cat without a head is a new piece, and um, the rest of the work, some of it is um, from private collections, and some of it is from um, museum collections, and uh, some of it is from the storeroom at the gallery. Uh, when people ask me what my influences are, my mind always goes blank. Um, I don't know, I'm interested in art, I suppose, and um, I like art, and I like, but I also like literature and music and films. Um, I can't really think of any particular artist that influences me, but I like a lot of different artists and a lot of different art and a lot of different writing. So I take my influences from a lot of different sources. But the way that I work is quite intuitive, so it's not, um, it's difficult to trace exactly what I, uh, what influences me. And I don't really come from any theoretical or cultural starting point. Um, I guess most of the time I just make what I, feel like making, just start with a blank page or a blank canvas and um, and just make something and that's it really. I suppose the things that I respond to are pretty eclectic. Um, so in that sense my, my work is about everything and about nothing really. Um, but I, I don't know, I think when you ask an artist a question like where do you get your ideas from? it's completely impossible to answer. I would always be very suspicious of anybody who actually knew where their ideas came from because it would suggest that perhaps they were plagiarizing their ideas from some other source. Um, so I guess, uh, I guess inspiration just comes out of the blue really for most people, whether you're a writer or a, a musician or an artist or a filmmaker. Um, for me, I just respond to the things that are around me and the things that I hear and the things that I see. So, I don't know. I don't really know what my work's about. It's probably about death a lot of the time and um, other stuff. I think the response that I would like people to have to my work, um, ideally, is probably the same response that I have to it in that it's interesting enough to to look at and to think about for a while and um, that's it really I, I, I guess I hope that people think the show is interesting um, I, I think that that's really all you can ask I mean some people judge art judge art's uh, worthiness as to whether it's good or bad as to whether they actually like to have it in their own home and um, I don't think a lot of artists think that way about art. I think art is just a 
perhaps a starting point for a, a debate or a starting point for a, um, a train of thought about something, around something. And um, I think that uh, if, if any people would take something away from the show, I would hope that it's just one of um, thinking about what they've seen rather than just not thinking about it. I have a website. The address of my website is www.davidshrigley.com where you will find details of my artwork and my thoughts.